One point I think that's really important, you know, to, to recognize is that um, you can't say that it's reversible either, puberty blockers. You've interrupted a normal developmental process and you can't buy back time. If you've blocked uh, pubertal development, you've prevented the gonad, the testes or the ovaries, from normally developing, and then you expose them to hormones that they would not normally uh, be um, exposed to. The expected outcome of that is that you're going to render that individual infertile and, and likely irreversibly. In many of these clinics, they recognize the potential for infertility, for sterilizing these children, and they will have a discussion about ways to preserve fertility. Yet the number of children that actually accept that offer for fertility preservation is exceedingly small. And it reflects potentially their inability to grasp what they are giving up at that stage of the life.